It's another exclusive, only from DJ Michael B. Hi, I'm Marvin Winans, and it is indeed uh, a pleasure to sit here to one of the prominent and great voices in gospel music, Miss Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Vanessa, how are you? I'm doing just great. You're getting ready to enter uh, a new phase of your career, and a lot of people don't know a lot about Vanessa Bell Armstrong, uh, those who aren't into gospel music. Would you give us a little personal background? Where are you from? Uh, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. That great mecca for music, Motown and all of that. That's it. Okay. You were born there. Now, when, when did you start singing? Uh, I started singing. Uh, they told me I started singing when I was four years old. But I'm <laughs> you sure. You don't remember. I don't remember. I think, really, I, I came out singing. Now, Vanessa, I'm, I've, I've known you for some time. Um, and, and, and when did you start singing gospel music? <laughs> when I started singing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about it. I mean. Well, it started uh, when I was, my mother told me I was in her stomach. Uh, I wasn't singing then, of course, but uh, she said she had this vision. Um, and this is when, before I was even born, um, that my father was going to become a preacher. And uh, that I was in her stomach and that I was going to be a, little, a girl, you know. And that she was in a dark pit and uh, my father was in a bright light and she wanted to follow him and she asked the Lord how could she uh, get in that light and he told her promise me the little one mm. and uh, she said yes Lord and we came out that pit you know and mm. ever since then uh, you know and it's true I'm, I'm a little girl well not little no more but <laughs> I, I came here uh, singing and they told me that all the time and I just followed you know so what? it was something that was determined mm -hmm. yeah even even before you were I could make any decisions even before I was born or anything I had now no that's say interesting so. that's interesting uh, how how do you feel about that well at first it was cute you know I always hear you know when you're little keep hearing mother say now you know you're chosen you know and this do, do mm -hmm. this do that follow your dad you know and of course he is a pastor uh, in Detroit and at the time that she had this dream your father wasn't a minister no he wasn't even in the in you know the church. he was around the church he was a quartet singer but he had not received you know the Lord as his personal savior or anything mm -hmm. like that so um, and it like I said you know I heard it over and over and it just became a part of me until I got old enough to rebel and, uh, and then I started. Yeah, it does seem like um, when you don't have a choice in the matter. Yeah. It's like God says, uh, give me, your mother promised yeah, right. you to the Lord. Right, right. Um, that's, that's interesting. When did you make your first record? Uh, believe it, I was 13. Uh, 13. Yeah, Matt, Maddie Moss Clark. Uh, heard of you me. were that or I, I always thought you were around eight or nine or something like that. Well, you know, I, I didn't make any albums then, but I was singing all the you way up to singing, then. You were singing, okay. But to, to really get my experience on 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 the uh, plastic, uh, what do you call it? Uh, vinyl. Right, mm -hmm. whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> it goes around and around. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> then she's the one that I, I give it all to her, the credit uh, mm -hmm. of giving me that experience. And a lot of people don't want to give it to her, but I take my hat off if I was wearing one right now. I tilt it to Maddie Moss Clark because mm -hmm. she gave me my chance. Um, and from that to now, uh, a brief history of your recording. I remember as a teenager hearing you sing with the Voices of Heaven right, right. in Detroit, and you recorded with them. Uh, then you uh, made your own debut mm. on Benson. Right, right. right. Uh, Onyx Records. Right. And now uh, we sit and we're talking about a brand new LP on Jive Records. That's it. Would you tell me uh, how that jump came? Well, it was a long waited, you know, and well, I'm glad that I've waited to, to experience this. Uh, the other albums were beautiful. I loved them, mm -hmm. and I got great experience from them and deep uh, deep things out of it. You know, I, it still touches me to hear some of the songs on that album, and I love the people that I dealt with in with that album, you know, but uh, it was time to move on. And mm -hmm. uh, Speaking of who were some of the people that you worked with on this album? On this 
the on the jive the the new lp oh well yours truly that's sitting here right here in front of me marvin winans <laughs> and of course uh oh we had um loris holland loris holland right okay. uh tim i can't think of his last name but such a wonderful uh Engine. producer oh Engine. no producer oh, that producer. brother oh, produced okay. you hear me and Jonathan Butler. Yes, he's amazing. Oh, God, he wrote a wonderful song. Glenn Jones. Oh, it sounds like you had some time. Oh, Genovia Jeter. Oh, really? We just had wonderful people. And of course, my sisters. Yeah, Margaret. Yeah, Margaret and Charlene. Great. Um, the song selection. Yeah, it seems to be a motif of, of, of songs. Of, Various styles. And very, yeah. How was how was that process? Uh, we had different songs to was sent in, and me, Marvin, which is you, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barry Hankison, such a wonderful manager. <laughs> well, he sat down and listened to these tunes, and they just blew us away. I'm telling you, <laughs> you're laughing at me. But we really, the ones that we really did like, which are the ones that are selected, are mm -hmm. such powerful songs. All of them have a message, and they're it's very versatile, and I love it. Now that's um, what's most important to you in 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 song selection, uh, the message or the mix? The message, because because I. I can deal with a message more than a than a, the mix is all right, but when you get mm -hmm. through with all the listening for the mix and what, what do you, you haven't received anything, so it's the message that is what we're looking for, and that's what takes me on because I know I need to hear a message every day to <laughs> <laughs> to keep me going. Where with that we, we see such um, being born and bred in gospel music as as yourself. Um, what are some of the changes that you've seen? I mean, now we have uh, a Vanessa Bell Armstrong um, on a secular or pop R&B label. Uh, you have like Tremaine Hawkins mm -hmm. on an R&B label, BB and CC Winans mm -hmm. on an R&B label, uh, even the Winans mm -hmm. on a... Where do you think that gospel music is headed? How does that sit with you? Um, well, just just your views on that. It, it really doesn't bother me. It used to until I, I figured out what was the when purpose. When it did bother you, what what bothered you about it? Because I didn't understand the purpose and I didn't understand where uh, we were trying to go. It, well, I wasn't trying to go in the first place. <laughs> I think I was happy where I was, I thought, until I, I, I began to listen and I began to um, really uh, examine what was happening. And I believe that gospel should have been there first anyway. It's first. Okay, they, mm -hmm. uh, it's where everybody can really feel gospel. Okay, I'm not talking about uh, pop is, you know, is that your thing? That's your thing. But uh, gospel is something that reaches its way down into the soul. Why do you suppose that is? I mean, what in, in talking with you, there seems to be an affinity, a uh, close in, in interwoven type thing between you and gospel. When you say gospel, what do you mean? Just a feel? What What does that mean to you? Gospel is the gospel, and that is the word, and okay. the word is what's going to set us free, mm -hmm. and that's what everybody's looking for. They're they're looking for something to set them free, mm -hmm. and I'm free. Because I have the gospel in me. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and in 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 that, I guess you felt when I'm picking up what you, from what you were saying that the tradition of gospel music it, was that something that was deeply rooted in you. Oh yeah, because I had uh, that's what I was reared on. You know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, Maddie Clark is you know well. Of course, everything is changing now. You know. Well, that how does how does that affect you? Uh, the change, the osmosis, the the progression. It, it does not bother me because I can sing it all. Thank God. <laughs> you can <laughs> sing it all, no. but the, what I'm what I'm trying to to does it scare you? No, uh, yeah, in a way, because I don't know what will everybody accept what, where we're going. Uh, you know, I don't think the mm -hmm. older saints <laughs> are going to be ready for this, and they are bucking against it already. You know, but. I believe that if God gave us a gift, 
he's going to make the room for us to go wherever we got to go mm -hmm. to sing this. And a lot of them say we don't have to compromise. But I feel like uh, there's no compromising. It's, it's, it's up to you. The decision is yours. Mm -hmm. And my decision is I'm going on with the Lord. So I, I'm not making any kind of decisions with the devil or anything like that or no pack mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm I'm singing what I was singing all the time. It's just got a different beat maybe to it. And you don't, and you don't feel uh, any ways compromised to be on a pop label like uh, Jive. No, I'm so glad because, <laughs> 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 no, I, I love the, the gospel label too, but uh, it was just my timing right now to mm -hmm. move on to another thing some somewhere. And they're taking me into a broader, you know, uh, area, uh, avenue, and, and I'm ready to go. How much control do you think you have in in what is played, in what you sing, in how you present it? How much control? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, will you, will, you, <laughs> <laughs> will you still be able to be Vanessa Bell Armstrong that um, was 13? Uh, and I speak, I guess, more in the vein of purity, oh. you know. Yeah. I, I'm sure at that younger age, yeah. to know that you were chosen, to know that you had this gift that was placed upon you mm -hmm. by God that mm -hmm. there was a purity um, and that you simply wanted to sing for Jesus and that's still it and that's still there that's 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 still there and that's what keeps me going because there's so much talent out here it is almost a shame you yeah. know because I just get blown away when I hear others but when the only thing that, that helps me keep going, because a lot of times I be wanting to drop out, out, out the race, you know? It's hard to believe. <laughs> I, I really do. I, but, I, but the difference is Jesus. And I know he loves me and he's chosen me to do this. And so, therefore, a lot, like I said, a lot of times I be wanting to give up. But the only thing that keeps me going is that God chose me to do this, so I must can make it. So do you still feel that you, you have that control? Oh yeah. Okay. That that uh, I, I'm enjoying this, and I, I don't know how much time we have left, but this this is great. Uh, Van, can I call you Van? Yes, you can. Okay, Van. <laughs> um, where do you think gospel music is headed? Do you think there has to be a stop sign, or does it just continue at the at this torrid pace that it's on? I think that it's going to go as far as God let it go. <laughs> and that's, you know, and we don't even know where that is. You know what I'm saying? But as long as the per the person or the persons that, that are singing and that God is taking them to these different levels can keep the purpose, their purpose for mm -hmm. doing it, I believe everything will be all right. Okay. Um, what about gospel radio? How do you feel? I, I know you already station managers are going into a frenzy because they're losing their stalwart soldiers. They don't have their pillars anymore. It seems like everybody's grabbing. I could just name a few uh, radio announcers they mm -hmm. like to be called instead of disc jockeys. Uh, how do you feel about gospel radio? What What's going to become of it if we lose a Vanessa Bear Armstrong to pop or R&B radio? And if you go into a town and you do an interview and you only do it to the FM stations uh, and you don't have time for the little AM gospel stations, which were at one time the mainstay of gospel music. What well, do you think about that? I think that uh, there's still a chance uh, for them to still get <laughs> so please listen in right away no <laughs> I believe that uh, I would never forget them uh, I would try to make my rounds because you can't forget where where you come from and and who helped you out in the beginning and they were faithful to me and I'm going to be faithful to them too well I'm sure they're going to breathe a sigh of relief <laughs> Vanessa your future plans mm -hmm. right now you're in a play, Don't Get God Started. Oh, yeah. Is this your first uh, yeah. time on stage? Oh. No, it's not. In, in the sense of a play? No. Oh. I, I did uh, Season's Reason uh, with Ron Milner a long time ago. A play? Yeah, a play. What, did you do any acting? I or did a, I did a little bit, but <laughs> mostly singing because that was really my first time. But, you know, 
the people in church. Well, how long ago was that? Well, well, you know, we don't really want to get into that, <laughs> but <laughs> it was just a couple of years, a ago. Few years yeah, ago. Yeah, just a few. And now you're back in another one of Ron Miller's plays. Really, and I think that we really learn how to act anyway because we're, <laughs> you know, uh, they say the church people are very theatrical anyway because we just, it's we're born with it. We just have it, you know what I'm saying? And if you know God, you know, and we, we act Him out in the plays in church, you know, and at Christmas or mm -hmm. and Easter, we do the Easter plays and what have you. We rehearse them then anyway, and my children rehearse at home, so <laughs> you know, so it's in us. And and I believe that He just brought it out in us, and we were scared to do things like that, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in a play yeah. going to Broadway what what is this you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but I'm just ready for it I'm you know I'm really ready for it what does the play uh, entail what does it mean to you uh, it means a lot to me because a lot of the uh, stages in it um, reminds me of things that I have been through or either going mm -hmm. through or might have to go through mm -hmm. I, I don't know but the thing that don't scare me is that I know the answer, and that's mm. the answer that's in the play, and that's God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you see your career going? Are you at the? Are you just approaching the mountain? Are you at the apex of your career? Are you starting to go down? Where Where is Vanessa Bell right now? I'm climbing up the mountain, <laughs> trying to reach so you the top. So you don't feel like you've given um, the world your best shot yet. I don't think so because I believe that God has really got something really in store for me because on this this album that's coming out it it just don't even I couldn't believe it was me you know what I'm saying and all the young talent that's coming out uh, I'm not that young anymore but I believe that I'm keeping up <laughs> and it's it's just I can't wait for the next album because I just I just want them to bring whatever's in me I want them to bring it out I've always been told that it was a lot of things down in me that has not been brought out yet so producers wherever you are <laughs> i'm ready to really adventure out and let whatever that's trapped down on the inside to come out and and let's do it for god to be a gospel performer in a secular environment what will the mainstay of your message be what 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 point are you trying to drive home? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all the other things will be added unto you. As a young woman, you are convinced that your faith is the answer for all. That's people. the only answer. The song used to be Christ is the answer and that's all I know. That's all I, I was was raised on. That's all that I have to look forward to when I wake up in the morning, in the middle of the night, you know, when I go to bed. Let me let me ask you because you 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 raised a, a point here, and and we're going to be closing. You you said that gospel music, the gospel church, was your life from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And even before you were born, your mother made the decision that she would give you to God. Mm -hmm. Where is Vanessa's personal decision based solely on Vanessa? Most people and, and life, people in general, we're products of our environment. But what about Vanessa with no strings attached? None. Where do you stand? Is there a commitment? Where where do you personally hmm. stand? I stand on the rock, on Christ Jesus, because I don't know no other way. And all that I was taught... You have said, you tried other ways? I have tried. I've ventured off every now and then, yes. In high school, I tried to mm -hmm. do a little bit of... Uh, Aretha or mm -hmm. oh I just knew this was gonna be the new Vanessa but I don't care where I try to go what I try to do and how I try to do it he brings me back and I love that about him because mm -hmm. he's a God that won't let you know what that's why I know I'm chosen too because I don't care how far I get off into a situation or something 
he catches me right then and there and said, uh-uh. And, and it pulls me right back in. It's just like it's going fishing. And you throw it, the rod out there and you, I don't even know nothing about no fishing. I don't go. But I know that I belong to God and he wants me and I want him. Thank you very much, Vanessa Bell. Hi, this is Vanessa Bell.